In this tutorial, I will cover some of Logic's hidden audio editing tools. I assume that you have a basic knowledge of Logic Pro, so I won't spend a whole bunch of time going over the basic editing tools other than to just mention them. So let's get that out of the way and do a really quick overview of the audio editing tools. Your editing tools can be found here. Now, the tools available in the menus on the left hand side are called your left click tools. And the tools in the menu on the right hand side are called your command click tools. Now, if I click this drop down menu, you'll see the tools here. You have a pointer tool, pencil tool, eraser tool, text tool, scissor tool, glue tool, solo tool, mute tool, zoom tool, fade tool, automation select tool, automation curve tool, marquee tool, and flex tool. And if I click the command click tools menu, you'll see the exact same set of tools. Now, by default, your mouse is going to automatically be the left click tool. I mean, you don't have to do anything to make it the left click tool. And by default, the left click tool is set to the pointer tool. It has a check mark beside it. Now, to access your command click tool, you have to hold down the command modifier. So holding down command changes it to my marquee tool that you see here. And by default, Logic sets your command click tool as the marquee tool. So you have the pointer tool and the marquee tool. And your pointer tool and your marquee tool is a very useful and powerful combination for editing your audio. And that's why Logic sets those two as the default. So you can easily make a selection with your marquee tool, like hold down command, drag here, make a selection with my marquee tool. And when I let my marquee tool go, I'm back at my pointer tool. And the pointer tool, if I click this, will actually separate this and make a cut. And if I also hold down option, then I can separate it, cut it, and drag it and make a copy. And then with my pointer tool, I can resize this on both sides and do anything, you know, just basic editing with it. Let me undo that. So that's a very powerful combination. The uh, left click being the pointer and the command click being the marquee tool. Now I'm sure you already knew that. But what you might not know is that you don't have to navigate all the way to the top of your main window here to access those tools every time you want to change them. You can bring up your editing tools menu anywhere your mouse is in your main window by hitting T. So right here, there's that exact same menu. Mouse is over here. I hit T. That menu pops right up. So I have quick access to my editing tools right at my mouse. Now, once that menu pops up, of course, you know, any changes it makes, say if I go to the glue tool, now you'll see my left click tool has been changed to my glue tool. If I want to change quickly back to my pointer tool, it is TT, which brings me to the discussion of the shortcuts that come up from this menu. When I touch T on my keyboard to bring that menu up again, you'll see that most of your tools have a shortcut assigned to them. So if I wanted to make my left click tool, say for instance, the marquee tool, the shortcut would be R. So now you see I have marquee for my left click and also marquee for my command click. TT really is just bringing up the menu and then using the shortcut T again to get back to the pointer tool. So really quickly TT brings the menu up, changes it back to the pointer tool, and it gets you back to your starting point very, very quickly. You can also create key commands or shortcuts for all of your different editing tools by going to your key commands menu which is option and the letter K that brings up your key commands. And as you can see, I've already created a key command for my marquee tool, but to find your uh, key commands, you just type in tools up here. Let me back away from this so you can see. Um, say if I was here, I just go to my search browser up here, type in tool, and then all of your different tools are listed here. Now, some of these tools are MIDI editing tools that you will actually find in your piano roll editor, like the MIDI through tool or the finger tool, which is a funny name for a tool, um, velocity tool. Those are MIDI editing tools or piano roll editing tools. But you actually see your flex tool, your marquee tool, your fade tool, your text tool, your solo tool, glue tool, scissor tool. So all of your audio editing tools are here also. And if it doesn't have anything listed here, there is no shortcut or key command assigned to it. But to assign one to it, you actually select it and then go over here and say learn by key label. 
I'm going to delete the one that I already have in here so it's like it was originally. So there's no shortcut for the marquee tool. I'll say learn by key label and I'm going to use command control option and the letter M and now that is the shortcut assigned to it. Now it's important that I turn this off so I don't assign it to anything else. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And now if I use that shortcut, my left click is also now my marquee tool. So I don't have to bring up a menu or anything. So you can go in and customize your uh, shortcuts and assign a different shortcut to every single editing tool and then just use your shortcuts. Another way to become very quick and very efficient in the software. TT, take me back to my pointer tool. Okay, so maybe you knew some of that too. But did you know that there is a third audio editing tools menu available to you, which will allow you to not only use the default left click tool, have access to the command click tool, which you already do, but you can also have a right click tool.